I'd love to say that ends the Debbie Downer portion of our set, but that's not true. Because I have one Debbie Downer and a Downer. Um, uh, let's see this one. Um, I was, uh, yeah, the fun part about the show is that I get to talk about you know, how these songs are written and uh, bore the shit out of you guys. And, <laughs> that's good for me. Still, um, it's, good. <laughs> it's, it's interesting to hear the perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, yes. Mind. Yes. Okay, well listen, I'm going to cut to the chase. 70% of these were written when I was really drunk. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to talk about a lot of them. <laughs> so, I mean, some of them are great. Some of them are great stories. I mean, you know, even with that said, you know, there's, like there's a song called Rabbit, which I'll probably play later, that uh, was written. I mean, I was, I was majorly intoxicated when I wrote that song. And I came home, that was like 4 in the morning. And what, what happened was I had seen the spine of uh, a John Updike book because I had read his Rabbit series. And all of a sudden that just brought to mind uh, the idea of like a run little rabbit run thing, song done in 20 minutes. Easy. Went to sleep, I was like, I'm going to throw that thing away because I was so wasted. <laughs> Woke up and I was like, this is actually pretty good. <laughs> and I said to myself, this is how they do it. <laughs> and I kept trying that way for years. <laughs> It didn't work, but with that said, there's, there was one song that, I, I was up when I, this is, uh, I was like 19, I was living in a house in Philadelphia, and a buddy of mine and I were uh, living in this house with like five other dudes, sharing rooms, doing all home, but we were up early, when I say we were up early, like it was about eight o'clock, early enough to see the Today Show, early for us means we hadn't fallen asleep yet, we were just awake, enough to watch the Today Show. <laughs> so we're watching it, and there was a uh, psychologist who came on. He was talking about the adverse effects of alcohol on your brain. <laughs> and as he's describing it to Matt Lauer and Katie Couric, who is just completely devoid of understanding all things, in my opinion. <laughs> he's just sort of coming and hawing the whole time. Matt Lauer is like kind of digging in deep, and he's just like, so I, let, me, let me see if I get this straight. So, how many drinks, if you can quantify it, would it take for somebody to, to start experiencing memory loss? Like, when does it become a detriment to your health? And the psychologist said, well, you want to average no more than 14 drinks a week, two drinks a day, at the most. If you average any more than that, you start to, to exactly, you're chuckling because I'm about to tell you why I said it. We have been, we have been up at, we have been up at all hours, and this is just, I'm still young, and even now I look at it and I kind of scoff at it, but I get it, but, he goes, so you want to average like two drinks a day at the most. If you do any more than that, what's going to happen is you're going to suffer atrophy of the brain. Basically, your brain is just going to start to burn itself away. It's going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. That's what happens. Yeah. When that little tidbit of a fact came out, I looked at my buddy who was sitting next to me, and God knows what we were on at the time. And I look at him, and I just go, dude, we are so fucked. <laughs> And then we just resumed watching, as it was just like, yeah, I need to know my fate. <laughs> but there was, what's that? Yeah. Cheers to us. Sanja, cheers. Sanja. And it is very true because I grew up in the 70s. Oh, yeah. And, um, Do you remember the 70s? <laughs> I, grew, I grew up in the 70s. I remember the 70s. It's not funny to part But I seriously... You know, they say out of your entire 100% of your brain, yeah. you only need 20%. Well, I went into that 20%. Oh, sure you did. <laughs> it's always my favorite. And listen, I've got nothing. I mean, I grew up, I'm a musician, singer, songwriter. I go on the road all the time. My musician buddies, I get it. I've heard that old adage that we always pass around, just like, man, you got brain cells to burn, bro. Yeah. It's like, but how many are you burning, bro? <laughs> like, I get it. It's Wrong. fine. You can do whatever. With this kind of stuff, it was like, it's it's not so much like an enlightening fact, it was just like, no, it's like I know, it's, it's like telling a smoker, it's just like, if you keep smoking, you know, you, you might get lung cancer. This is actually going to be adverse to your health. And then all of a sudden you expect a smoker to be like, holy shit, <laughs> I'm done, I can't do this anymore. Thank you for telling me it was bad for my health. I get it. Um, but the point, like when we were... When well, we had seen this, I remember going back and I was reflecting on it. I'm just like, well, this has to do with a lot of things. I mean, everything has to be in moderation. I mean, if you just ate 
sugar all day, every day. If you just ate broccoli all day, every day, the gas you would have <laughs> would be, I mean, you, unprecedented gas <laughs> with broccoli. That's all point. It's, it's all about moderation. You just need to moderate your behavior. And I kept thinking about my upbringing, and we keep bringing this up. And listen, I had a great upbringing. But Catholicism, with religion, with fundamentalism, with all those sorts of things, there are certain aspects of it. To me personally, that there are people who exercise it and and talk about it in a way that's compassionate and good and and, and helps a child in their development. And there are other ways where you grow older and you just realize that you become carry. You become carry. <laughs> yeah, you become carry. You start flipping cars and there's pigs blood on your head and before you know it, it's your sacrifices. And, so anyway, the point of the song was that's the point of the song. They're, it has to do with drinking and God. It's drinking and God. That's what this whole song is. All the songs.
Bye.